Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Daily Express under the main headline of Dad of Chelsea Bidders the Ricketts family apologized. For racist comments in leaked emails. Summary of headline article. More info Joe Ricketts has been linked with a bid to buy Chelsea and back in 2019 issued in apology after appearing to make racist comments in a string of offensive emails. The American billionaire is the head of the Ricketts family, who also owns the Chicago Cubs. The family issued a statement on Wednesday afternoon confirming their interest in striking a deal for the Blues. The Ricketts family became the latest high-profile candidates to register their interest in the club on Wednesday afternoon. Read more. Chelsea owner Abramovich linked with takeover at another club after Blues reign. From the Sun under the main headline of Kurt Zoma is charged. Summary of headline article. Kurt Zoma has been charged by the RSPCA after he was filmed kicking his cat like a football across the kitchen floor. His brother Yon Zoma, 23, who is alleged to have filmed the clip, has also been charged. The RSPCA said, following a full and thorough investigation, we have started the process of bringing a prosecution against Kurt Zoma and Yon Zoma under the Animal Welfare Act. The Sun revealed footage of the Hammer's ace kicking and slapping his Bengal cat in his £2 million London mansion. The Defenders Club West Ham said today in a statement, West Ham United is aware of the RSPCA statement in relation to its investigation involving Kurt Zoma. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Cheltenham Festival live on Ladies Day as champion. Chase Nears. Summary of headline article. After a scintillating start yesterday, the Cheltenham Festival returns for day two and most excitingly it's Ladies' Day. Whilst Ladies' Day may come on Wednesday, it was no doubt a lady that stole the show on day one as Rachel Blackmore secured a second. Successive champion hurdle crown on board Honeysuckle. In the second race of the day it was a maiden grade 1 festival win for Charlie Deutsch as he rode. Long press to victory in the Brown Advisory. Before Commander of Fleet won the Coral Cup. The feature race saw plenty of drama. As well-backed favourite Shishkin was pulled up. Allowing rival Enigumene to take the champion chase title for Paul Townend and Willie Mullins. Racing TV is the only channel broadcasting every race live from the Cheltenham Festival. With two exclusive races each day. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Watch. Marcus Rashford denies making abusive gesture at Manchester United fan after Champions League exit. Summary of headline article. But Rashford vehemently denied those accusations and claimed he had reacted after finally being worn down by weeks of threats and abuse. Writing on Twitter, Rashford said, A video can paint a thousand words and in this case lead to inaccurate info being shared on social media. Guys for weeks I've been heckled. Threatened. Questioned and last night my emotion got the better of me. I'm a human being. I had been heckled from the minute I stepped foot outside the ground. Abuse not just aimed at my football. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Ladies' Day Washout at Cheltenham 2022 but Bankers. Win and Tiger Roll retires. Summary of headline article. The rain continued all day at Cheltenham Racecourse but, bankers, Sir Gerhard and Facile Vega still won. The closing bumper was delayed due to the wet conditions relentless rain turned Ladies' Day at the Cheltenham Festival into a washout. Read more Facile Vega. One of the, bankers, for punters on the card. 
defied trainer Willie Mullen's fears about the going by winning easily. From Sunday on the forecast it was going to be a very wet day today and why water when you have got a wet day forecast? Racing TV is the only channel broadcasting every race live from the Cheltenham Festival. With two exclusive races each day. From Metro under the main headline of Man United want to appoint new number one managerial target before end of season. Summary of headline article. Thomas Tuchel is reported to be Man United's new number one target to succeed Earl Gunnar Solskjaer on a permanent basis. Picture. Getty. Manchester United have made Thomas Tuchel their new number one target to become Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's successor and want to appoint the Chelsea boss before the end of the season. Ralph Rangnick's interim tenure suffered its biggest setback to date when United were dumped out of the Champions League last night. Following an insipid display against Atletico Madrid at Old Trafford. I think no. If he gets some guidance from the Chelsea board about a deal being close, Johnson told bettingodds.com. However, if this situation bubbles on for 12 months, then yes. Follow Metro Sport for the latest news on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. From the sun under the main headline of get a £25 in free bets to spend at the Cheltenham Festival. With Grosvenor Sport. Summary of headline article. Punters can kick start the Cheltenham Festival in style with £25 in free bets from Grosvenor Sport. New customers who sign up and stake £5 on horse racing will receive 5x £5 in free bets to spend at the four-day Cheltenham Festival. New Grosvenor Sport customers will receive £25 in free bets when they stake £5 on horse racing. Visit the Grosvenor Sport website using this link here. Register a new account and deposit a minimum of £5. Void bets. Cashed out. Bets and bets using odds boost. Free bet tokens do not count as qualifying bets and free bet tokens expire after seven days. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Lille vs Chelsea. Champions League Live. Score and latest updates from last 16 tie. Summary of headline article. And so the end of yet another big news day for Chelsea is coming to a close and that's before. Thomas Tuchel's side have even played their Champions League last 16. Second leg match at Lille. If you're thinking that matters on the pitch come second to those off it at the moment then it's because you're right. Those are just a few of the short-term consequences of the sanctions. As for the longer-term ones, we don't yet know. The Americans are to put in an offer for the troubled club with Citadel businessman Ken Griffin. A soccer fan worth a cool £20 billion. Stay here for all the pre-match team news, analysis and action, with the kickoff due at 8. From Mail Online under the main headline of Fear Rewords F1 Safety Car Rule After Controversial Abu Dhabi GP. Summary of headline article. The latest edition of the FIA regulations has seen a change in wording to clarify the rules surrounding lapped cars overtaking the safety car. The FIA has reworded their sporting regulations in relation to safety car procedures only five. Lapped cars passed the safety car putting Max Verstappen behind Lewis Hamilton the decision cost. Hamilton what would have been his record eighth championship. While lapped cars behind Verstappen were also disadvantaged. A virtual race control room has also been created. Likened to football's VAR. While direct radio communications between teams and the race director have been be removed. Wolf lobbied Marzi not to bring out the safety car when the Alfa Romeo of Antonio Giovinazzi broke. Down earlier in the race. 
after the race director had opted not to let cars pass the leaders when Nicholas Latifi's crash brought out the safety car. From BBC under the main headline of 100 Draft Delayed for Warn Funeral. Summary of headline article. Last updated on. From the section Cricket Shane Warne in discussion with Owen Morgan in August. 2021 The draft for the men's hundred and announcement of new women's signings has been pushed back a week to avoid clashing with Shane Warne's state funeral. The new date will be the 5th of April as Warne's funeral will take place on the 30th of March. When the draft was initially scheduled, Warne was head coach of London Spirits men's side for the inaugural competition last season. Shane was a much-loved part of the 100 and played an important role in launching the competition as head coach of London Spirits men's team, a statement read. Warne's former side Spirit will get the first pick in the men's draft after finishing bottom in 2021. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.